Welcome back to another episode of Beyond the Pot. And y'all know what time it is? It is Super Bowl. And I got two dips going head to head. Here we go. First dip is gonna be a crab dip. This is a family favorite. So we got a few ingredients here, but you just throw them all in the bowl, put it in the pan and cook it. So we're gonna start with some mayonnaise. I have a half cup of mayonnaise here. Throw that in. And then I have, oh, all on my hands. I have a half cup of sour cream. And then I have some cream cheese, which I put at room temperature. I let that sit for a little while at room te to get room temperature so we can mix it all in. Get that in there. And it don't want to cooperate. It's okay. Get all that you can out. Oh, I left a chunk. We need all the cream cheese. Cream cheese makes it really good. Okay, I'm gonna throw that to the side. Okay, so you're gonna get that, mix that down in there. Try to get that cream cheese broke up and incorporate it, okay? With the sour cream and the mayonnaise. And yes, you can heat up mayonnaise. It's not gonna kill you, okay? It's not, I promise, it's not gonna kill you. We're gonna go in with some garlic. I got about a teaspoon of garlic. About a teaspoon. To you, if you're using fresh, it's probably about two or three cloves. Bow, I like it. Mix that up in there. Try to really get that cream cheese mixed in. Probably should have did that first. Next time, put your cream cheese in first, okay? Get that mixed in. Okay, next we're gonna go in with some lemon juice. I got a little lemon juice here lemon juice that was about a tablespoon of lemon juice lemon go with seafood okay got a little lemon juice and I'm gonna go in with some cheese you can pick whatever cheese you want I chose Monterey Jack and cheddar cheese some people use mozzarella some people use Parmesan but these are the two cheeses that I chose and I did a half a cup of cheddar and a half a cup of Monterey Jack okay don't get no cheese all of it, all of it, all of it. Okay, got that mixed up in there. And then I'm gonna go with some hot sauce, a little spicy. Got about a tablespoon of hot sauce going in. If you want more spice, you can put more. If you want less, then put less. About a tablespoon of hot sauce and about two teaspoons of Worcestershire. Worcestershire, Wor however you say it, you know what I'm talking about. Worcestershire, Worcestershire, I don't know. So about two teaspoons of that, one, and two, there we go. It is not crab dip if you ain't got no, what's that? Oh, baby. Shout out to my husband who's from Maryland. And put however much you want. I might put some of this more at the end. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It looks great. Looks good. So you're going to mix that all up together. It's like making a sauce or something. The base. It's the base of it. What we start with. And then we're going to put some seasonings. I got some garlic powder. And everything is to taste. Okay, I got a little ground mustard. Probably about a teaspoon, half a teaspoon of ground mustard. Because in crab cakes you put a lot of mustard. And some black pepper. We gonna hold that paprika for the top. So I got all of this mixed all up in there. See that? Mix it up, mix it up. And so when it comes to your crab meat, y'all, you can, um, that pepper got my nose. Ooh. When it comes to crab meat, you can get lump crab meat or you can get claw meat. I chose to get claw meat. To me, claw meat has more flavor than the big chunks of lump. I really like the flavor of the claw meat. And so I did about a pound or 16 ounces of claw meat, of crab claw meat. And that's fresh crab meat. Don't, don't, don't get no imitation crab meat out there. Okay, that's not what this, that's not what we doing. All right. 
Do not do that. No imitation. We going real, okay? Go to your seafood counter back there. Sometimes it's in the can, sometimes it's in the jar, but it's refrigerated. Don't, mm, y'all, don't do it. So you just put that in there and then you, you're gonna fold that over, okay? Fold it over, cause you don't wanna break up that meat like that. Fold it over, get it in there. Fold it over. Fold it over. Make sure it's well incorporated. Y'all, if y'all wanna put a little extra cheese in it, you can. I think I got enough cheese, but there we go. Okay. And then I have my nine by 13 pan or whatever pan you wanna go in to put it in. I'm gonna spray this pan down, make sure it don't stick too good. Make sure you get your sides, cause it's gonna bubble up. Okay. And we're gonna go in this pan with this crab dip. Y'all, this is so, like, it's so good when you eat it. It's, it's so good. You just gonna wanna sit and watch football and eat crab dip. If you want, you can actually put some shrimp in here. Put some cooked shrimp in it. Cut some shrimp up and throw it in there. Mm-hmm, yep. You have a shrimp and crab dip. Or if you wanna be a little healthy, throw a little spinach in there. You have a little spinach dip with your crab meat. It's like an all-encompassing meal. So we're gonna spread that out. Okay. We're gonna go spread it all the way out and down. And then look, I got a little look, I like to scrape all of my butt. I want all the remnants, okay? All of it. All that goodness. Oh yeah. Saw that little piece? Somebody needed that on their trip. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna go on top with some more cheese. And this is just some leftover cheddar and Monterey Jack that I had left. Or you could top it whatever kind of cheese you want. Oh yes. It's gonna be good. Real good, real good. Okay. That's that, and that's what we look like going in the oven. You're gonna go in the oven on 350 for about 25 minutes till it's nice and hot and bubbly, and then we're gonna garnish it with some green onions, okay? Our next dip is a sweet dish. It's very sweet, and so I know a lot of people like when they go camping, and like, oh, s'mores, s'mores, s'mores. We're gonna bring s'mores indoors, and so we're gonna make a s'mores dip. This is our sweet dip, because the crab dip was savory, now we got a sweet. And so it is three ingredients, y'all. Technically, it's only two, and use one for dipping. So we're gonna, you can use your cast iron skillet for this, but I'm gonna use a, just a plain old, I don't even know what this is. I don't know, it's a good dish to bake in. So I'm gonna spray this down. Make sure you spray it real good. That's sprayed. And then we're gonna go in with some Hershey's chocolate. If you don't have Hershey's, you can use a mini marshmallows. I mean, mini marshmallows, not mini marshmallows. You can use mini marshmallows, but we didn't get that at part yet. Um, you can use um, chocolate chips. <laughs> So you can use chocolate chips instead of Hershey bars. If you want to get a little creative, you can so do a different kind of candy bar, like a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup, which I would do, because I'm not a super huge fan of Hershey's. So um, I would do a Peanut Butter Cup, because I love peanut butter. Um, or you could do like Milky Ways, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool, I like that. And then, so you're gonna put these in like one layer going up on the bottom of your pan. If some of them overlap, it's okay. It is a-okay, but you don't wanna stack them. You don't wanna stack them like, on, like, like that on top of each other. But if they're like shingled in your pan, it's okay. And they're gonna melt down really good. And this is about, how many candy bars did I do? I think I did six. I think I did six Hershey bars. And that's that. So that's what it looks like, all flat. Like, remember, don't stack them. Look 
I got one stacked in there. Don't stack them. So now we're gonna go on top with our marshmallows. So with your marshmallows, yes, you can use mini marshmallows. But I'm using big boys. I like the big daddies. Those go right on top and stand them up. You know, fill those in really good. And that chocolate's gonna melt. Mm. And the, my kids are gonna love this. They love s'mores. We have a fire pit in the backyard and they go outside all the time just to make a s'more. So, you just stack them all the way around. Make it look pretty. It's Super Bowl presentable. So this is about a bag of marshmallows, bag of big jumbo, mar not jumbo, the regular size marshmallows. Or like I say, you can use mini marshmallows instead if you want minis. And then you wanna pack it in there. Look, I have room for one more. Make it tight. And then these are gonna go in the oven. This is gonna go in the oven on 400 degrees for about eight to 10 minutes. And then you're gonna put, cook those until they're nice and melty and brown, like the marshmallows start to get a little toasty. And so it's gonna be really good. So here are my lovely dips. I have the crab dip that I made first, and then I topped it with, I garnished it with some paprika and some obey, cause you can't get enough of obey, okay? And some green onions, and then I'm pairing them with some crostinis that I freshly made. I made these just from a baguette or French bread, and I put some oil, What's that? Some butter and garlic on it. Mm. Toast them in the oven on 400 for about five minutes. Perfect. And I'm, I bought these uh, sea salt pretzel thins. You could put those with it. Um, the everything pretzel thins. They have all different flavors of the pretzel thins, but I picked the salt ones to go with the crab dip. Whatever you want to use to dip in it, by all means, you can have your choice, your pick, whatever. And then this s'mores dip, look how pretty it looks. It is toasted. Um, lightly toasted golden brown. Look, I got a, a little um, more toast on those middle ones. Um, and I paired those with um, some strawberries. And you can't forget your graham crackers. Like, it's not a s'mores without the graham. It's the chocolate, the marshmallow, and the graham. You gotta have a graham. So, I'm not talking about Instagram graham crackers. Um, but, yes, you're gonna dip that right into that um, s'mores dip. And I want y'all to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to share it. Tell your friends and all of them about Beyond the Pot. And hey, happy Super Bowl. Enjoy these dips. They are kid friendly. They are a crowd pleaser. And may the best man win for Super Bowl 2023. Later.